This story starts with a decision by the Football Foundation to try and provide training facilities and match play facilities for as many teams and youngsters as it possibly can across the district. Here is an opportunity to develop two of those artificial grass pitches on one site. Honestly, I'm so excited. Like, I've dreamt of being involved in increasing the accessibility to football for like two years now. And like the idea of being involved in building an actual pitch was something that I wanted to do, but it almost felt like unreachable and it felt like I'd never be able to have such an impact. So to be here today, breaking the ground on a football pitch with the Football Foundation is unbelievable. And honestly, I'm like pinching myself. Looking at the weather today, you can see why the Football Foundation are, are so committed to improving facilities across the country. We know full well what impact the facilities have on physical health, but the impact that these facilities have on mental health and people's well-being is huge. It'll be the first time in South Ribble that South Ribble Council has invested in these type of pitches. But it's also a place where the, you know, football clubs, you know, their committees can meet. It'll be a whole football community. It's been great working with uh, obviously a, a council that's really proactive, that wants to see uh, investment into facilities and, and obviously uh, improving the, the standard and quality of offer for our grassroots footballers and our football community across South Ribble. And anything that we can do to encourage uh, girls to get in and pursue and fulfil their capabilities in terms of football, I think that that will be great. And catch the ball. Growing up in like a footballing family, football was like my whole life and I remember when I first wanted to sign for a team, there wasn't really many girls teams around so I actually had to go and play with a boys team and I was the only girl on the team. Increasing the number of girls teams kind of fixes that problem because I wish like we had enough facilities to have girls teams back when I was younger because it would have meant like so much to me joining a girls team. Thank you. Obviously once the facilities are built and you know we've got lots and lots of uh, players running around and, and enjoying our fantastic game. At the end of the day, it's that partnership work that happens at the, the start, the middle and the end, which is absolutely pivotal to the success of any facility. These projects just wouldn't be possible without the funding that we receive from the Premier League, the FA and government through DCMS and Sport England. Hopefully in six months time when we come back, we'll see the results of all that hard work. So there's, we're trying to capture something here which is sustainable, economic, robust, because it'll get knocked about a bit and absolutely fit for purpose for what is needed. And of course, within budget. Exciting! Exciting, yes. <laughs>